Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey guys, I'm Caleb, and I'm inviting you on a grand journey into my Bible. Stroll down the aisles of this library and you'll find 66 separate books. These are God's words written down by people who followed him over hundreds of years. I'm done. <laughs> every book, every chapter, every verse is like a puzzle piece. They all fit together to form the incredible story of how God created us and how we turned our backs on him. Instead of leaving us on our own though, God carried out the greatest rescue plan ever. He made a way for us to be with him forever, no matter what we've done. He made peace with us. And I have four stories right here to show what peace can look like. We start off with the entire Bible. <laughs> Not even kidding. <laughs> but we get the highlights right here in Colossians 1. God was pleased to bring all things back to himself. That's because of what Christ has done. God made peace through Christ's blood by his death on the cross. True peace begins and ends with God. Now we're heading two chapters over for the next step. Here, the Apostle Paul explains that because God made peace with us, You've got a mission, should you choose to accept it. Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. God made peace with us so we can make peace with others. Now let's head back to Genesis to take a different look at peace. God has blessed Isaac with a good crop and large flocks and herds, but the nearby Philistines feel threatened. They're so fearful, they fill up Isaac's wells with dirt. That leaves Isaac with a tough choice, fling mud back in their faces or refuse to play dirty and walk away. Let's wrap up in the book of 1 Samuel. Here, David and his men have been protecting the flocks of a rich man named Nabal. But when David asks if they can share in the sheep shearing feast, Nabal just sneers. David is ready to flip his lid. He marches out with 400 men to face Nabal. That's when Nabal's wife, Abigail, hears what's going on. She comes up with her own peace offering and it's pretty sweet. True peace takes hard work and creativity. It takes proving you care more about others than about winning. And I can't wait to see how it plays out in you and in me. <laughs>